Hi everybody and welcome to FabTax. I'm Rosemary and thanks for stopping by. Today I'm excited to share quick, inexpensive and easy Christmas gifts number two. Today featuring hot cocoa with 15 gourmet flavor hacks and 20 plus packaging options. We have $1 options, $2 options, $3 options, and $4 options. There's a lot to cover, so let's get started. I like to start with some container options and starting here with the least expensive because these are multi-pack and so they are they come anywhere from a three to eight containers per package so you can really get um, you know a lot of gifts out of these and um, you can take for example these little Santa cups they can come eight to a pack and add a little topper that comes six to a pack and you have a nice little container there these Dollar Tree um, coffee cups come four to a pack and these little bags come three to a pack. And then the cheapest option would be this can that we can recycle and decorate. These next containers are also a dollar, but you're only getting one container per dollar, so it is gonna be a little more expensive. So all of these cute mugs come from the Dollar Tree, and of course they make great containers for hot cocoa gifts. And then um, also these small jars and this little milk jug from the Dollar Tree and this little sugar container. And then this little booty came from Walmart. Now, although these next containers are also a dollar, um, they also are larger than the other items. So for example, this bucket is, um, has a lot bigger capacity than the cup. So these are gonna be more expensive just because it's gonna cost more to fill them. But there are some really cute options in this category, like this little lunch pail from the Dollar Tree and then this little mailbox with the little thing that comes up from the Dollar Tree, and then also the gingerbread house and this other box, and then this cute little candy dish also from the Dollar Tree, and this glass jar from the Dollar Tree. But with the glass jar, I intend on painting the top red and then adding this little Dollar Tree snow globe to the top, which will then of course make the container a $2 item, and then do the same with black paint and then this little penguin, and again, making that a $2 container. Now, in addition to the containers, most of the containers will require that you also use these little treat bags uh, to place the cocoa in, and you can get these at the Dollar Tree or Walmart. So before we get into the recipe hacks, I just wanted to let you know that I will be showing all the recipes as a single serving size so that you can just see all the ingredients, but um, the containers will require a cup of mix for the one and two dollar containers and two plus cups of mix for the three and four dollar containers. All those recipes will be available at fabtalks.com and I will post them in all of the proportion sizes so you can get the right one for what you're looking for. Um, and just so you know, for each serving of the cocoa, it will be three tablespoons of mix to eight ounces of hot water. Also, one more thing before going to the recipes, I'm using this Nestle um, hot cocoa mix. This is not sponsored by Nestle, but I have to tell you that this is an amazing hot cocoa. I didn't actually ever use this before and only purchased it because the one I wanted, the one I normally buy wasn't available in this size and um, highly recommend. This is far better and really comes out nice with the recipe. Okay, the first flavor hack will be salted caramel. To make this, I use Werther's um, hard candies, and you can get these at the Dollar Tree, and then also some salt. I'm just using this pink Himalayan, but you can use any that you have. And um, for each serving, it requires three of the hard candies, and then I just bang them up with a mallet, and then I just pound them until, um, you know, it's kind of powdery, but no big chunks basically, and you know, just kind of granule. And then I take three tablespoons of the hot cocoa mix, and then just add the candy to that. And then with the single serve, just a little sprinkle of the salt and give it a stir and you have salted caramel mix. Next is moco cocoa. And to make that, I'll again be using the Werther's, but this time the coffee Werther's. And again, this is for hard candy. I think they do sell a soft version. So you definitely want the hard candy version. And again, just bang it up with the mallet add it to three tablespoons of the cocoa mix, give it a stir, and um, if you want, you can add a little bit more of the coffee by adding some coffee granules, um, you know, instant coffee, but um, it's pretty coffee tasting already, so I'm gonna just leave it as is. Next is every kid's favorite, cotton candy. And I got these cotton candy hard candies at CVS. 
And yes, that's right. Take the three candies, put them in a plastic bag, bang them with the mallet, crush them up, and then add them to your three tablespoons of hot cocoa mix, give it a stir, and you have yourself some cotton candy hot cocoa. Next flavor hack is a holiday favorite, peppermint. Now we're gonna switch it up on you a little bit. So of course we could use our three hard candies of peppermint candy, um, or of course it's holiday season, so we have candy canes available. And the um, proportion would be for, uh, instead of using the three hard candies, you would use one candy cane. So again, smash it up, you can see, just wanted to show you again, it does smash up pretty easy. It's not any more difficult than the regular hard candies. And then you add it again to your uh, cocoa mix, give it a stir, and you have some nice peppermint hot cocoa. If you like hot and spicy, then you're gonna like this kicking cocoa. And wow, surprise, here we go again. Now we have another candy cane. I'm gonna do, of course, the same thing, but I promise in a few of these hacks, we're gonna to get to some other ingredients. But there we go. Mix it up and you have yourself a nice hot and spicy cocoa. The next flavor hack is mint chocolate chip. And yes, we'll be using a candy cane again, but um, this candy cane I did have to buy at Walmart. This is the Hershey's chocolate mint. The others were purchased at Dollar Tree, but um, this one I'm also going to add a tablespoon of the mini chips and give them all a stir and there's mint chocolate chip. Hack number seven is another holiday favorite, cherry cordial. So for this one, we'll need a cherry pixie stick candy cane. And I got these from Walmart. There are other cherry uh, flavors. I think Walmart, I mean, uh, Dollar Tree has some, but they don't have a really strong cherry flavor. This pixie stick is a really good one. And then in addition to that, some of the French vanilla creamer. This is Walmart brand, but Dollar Tree also sells uh, a smaller container for a dollar. Um, Walmart's is the better value actually because it was a dollar twenty-eight, I believe, for the you know almost double or more than double the size. So it's one tablespoon of the French vanilla, and then two tablespoons of the chocolate, and then you guessed it, a crushed up red cherry candy cane, and just stir it all together. And boy, oh boy, I tell you, this really does taste like a cherry cordial. Delicious. Next is French vanilla. Now, maybe you're not such a fan of cherry, so why not just omit the cherry? Just go ahead and do one tablespoon of the French vanilla, two tablespoons of the cocoa, mix it up, and you have a delicious French vanilla cocoa. The next flavor hack is amaretto. Now, I found this amaretto coffee creamer at Kroger. Now, Kroger's the only store I did see it at, so I'm not sure if others sell it, but I use one tablespoon of the amaretto creamer, two tablespoons of hot cocoa mix, and it came out really nice, a lovely amaretto flavored cocoa. The next flavor hack is hazelnut, and you guessed it, hazelnut creamer. Now this is available more widely. Uh, Dollar Tree also does sell a, a hazelnut creamer, and again, it was one tablespoon of the hazelnut creamer to the two tablespoons of hot cocoa mix, mix it together, and it's a lovely hazelnut cocoa. Next we have hazelnut orange. Now this can go well with either the amaretto or the hazelnut um, because orange is a flavor that really pairs well with both of those um, flavors. So again, here we go. I'm gonna get some hard candy, this time orange flavor, and I can get orange um, in the hard candy hostess mix at Dollar Tree. I just smashed up the three hard candies, gave it a stir, and have a lovely hazelnut orange. How about some yummy gingerbread cocoa? To make this flavor, I took two tablespoons of the cocoa mix, and then I took one tablespoon of this gingerbread cookie mix from uh, Kroger, I purchased this at Kroger, I think Walmart also has it, and then just added one tablespoon to that, stirred it up, and it is yummy. Flavor hack number 13 is cookies and cream. Now I know you're thinking she's just gonna take those Oreo candy canes, smash them up, and that's gonna be the flavor. But no, no, no. Um, actually, I did try that, but they weren't very flavorful. They're pretty though, and they make a nice decoration because they're nice and black and white stripe. But um, in order to get a good flavor, I actually use this Oreo pudding. But it does have chunks of cookie in it, so I put one tablespoon in a bag and then also just had to crush up those cookies a little bit before adding it to the cocoa. And then I took two tablespoons of the cocoa, added one tablespoon of the crushed up uh, Oreo pudding, and then gave it a stir and had some delicious 
cookies and cream. Hack number 14 is another holiday favorite, eggnog. For this recipe, I used vanilla pudding. I used one tablespoon to the two tablespoons of the hot cocoa mix. In addition to that, I put a sprinkle of some allspice and then a sprinkle of some nutmeg and then a double sprinkle of some cinnamon. Mixed it all together and it made a wonderful eggnog hot cocoa. Our last flavor hack is a white chocolate raspberry. This is kind of like the final exam because we're going to be using all of our different uh, flavor ingredients, including this Godiva white chocolate pudding. I get this at Walmart for $1.38. And then also this French vanilla uh, coffee creamer again, some white chocolate chips. I get at Aldi for $1.68. And then also the uh, raspberry candy canes uh, from Walmart. So first I'm going to take one tablespoon of the Godiva, then two tablespoons of the French vanilla creamer, and then one tablespoon of the white chocolate chips. Give that all a stir. And then of course, our little crushed candy cane. Gonna add that to the mix and give that all a stir. And you could also add uh, some of the other candy cane flavors, for example, peppermint or chocolate mint or the cherry. They would also be great additions to the white chocolate base. Now, before we go on to the packaging, I just wanted to show you how I made some of the stir sticks that um, I will be using as decoration. And I just took um, a couple of the hard candies. I put them on a Silpap, but you can also use parchment paper. And um, then I just placed those in a 350 degree oven for about four minutes. And when they come out, they look like this. And I just go and take a popsicle stick and insert that uh, into the hot candy. Be careful, these are very hot. And then I will also just kind of use another popsicle stick to cover the tops of the sticks there a little bit. And then I'm going to do the same with the peppermints and uh, cover the stick a little bit and then go ahead and do the last one. Now I made these stir sticks in the fall coffee video. So if you want to see some more different um, types that I made and um, I'll also be making these for the Christmas coffee bar so um, you might want to tune in for that one as well but you can see how cute they are they come up real nice um, after about three or four minutes they just pop right off the pan and they're really cute um, additions to a coffee bar or as you'll see to these packages okay so finally the packaging so I'm going to be doing the multi-pack packages first these are the cheapest options and then also I'm going to be pairing the flavors which uh, to the packages that I think best fit um, the packaging and so the first one is the Santa cup with cookies and cream so for this one I'm going to start with one of the little treat bags and I'm going to put it inside the little Santa cup and then I'm going to add one cup of the cookies and cream uh, cocoa mix to the bag and then add on top one cup of mini marshmallows now i'm going to also just give this bag a little bit of a trim because it's a little bit too much excess i don't want that um, on the top and so i'm just going to fold it over um, on the corners like a present make a little triangle and then just tape that to the back then I'm going to use one of these little Dollar Tree bowls and I'm going to just create like a little cap for the cup and I can just uh, tape it down there on the sides and it creates a little Starbucks looking uh, cocoa. Next I'll be doing the small bag with French vanilla cocoa. So I just start with the small bag and again uh, put a little treat bag inside and then I'm going to just fill it with one cup again of the French vanilla cocoa and then one cup of the mini marshmallows. And then for this one, I'm going to take one of these uh, Dollar Tree little red bows, and I'm just going to use, they have a little wire on the back, so I can just use that to uh, fasten the top of the little treat bag, and there you have it. Next we have the little recycled decorative can with mint chocolate chip. To decorate the can, I just use some regular white glue. Usually I would use Mod Podge, but um, in this case, I'm going to just go ahead and use a regular glue and then um, I'm going to just take a little brush and uh, just kind of brush it all around, get it in all the crevices, make sure that all the places that I'm going to be placing the paper have a good amount of the glue on it. And then I'm going to just take this piece of scrapbook paper that I got from Hobby Lobby and I already cut to size and then I'm going to just wrap the uh, can with the paper bringing it around to the back side adding a little bit more glue and then um, securing it there 
and then just cutting off the excess. Next, I took this little gift tag that I got from uh, Walmart, and it's real cute. It says Happy Holidays. It has a little red truck on the front. And then um, I really should have put that glue on the back, but I didn't. Anyway, I just uh, glued the little tag to the front of the can. To add a finishing touch, I used this black velvet ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby, and I just put a little hot glue um, on the ribbon and then um, attached that to the back of the can and then added a little of the white glue to the body of the ribbon and then uh, again to the end of the other end of the ribbon, I just added a little hot glue and secured it there at the back. Before adding the bag with the cocoa, I just added a little bit of tissue paper to the bottom of the can. Um, and then I put the bag inside over top of that. And then again, just added the cocoa, added the marshmallows, and then uh, this time use one of these Walmart black and red ribbons, or you can use any ribbon you like, but I thought it uh, matched real cute. And again, it has those little twist ties on it. And there's the finished product. The last one in this category is the party wear cup with the white chocolate raspberry. Okay, for this one, I took one of these party wear uh, cups from the Dollar Tree. They come four to a package. And then I just put in, again, uh, one of the little plastic treat bags. But I also had to go with a plastic spoon handle and just kind of push it down into the space. And then I just took a couple of the spoon, a spoonfuls of the mix and just weighted the bottom of the bag down a little bit before adding the rest of the mix so that it would conform to the bottom of the cup. And then I uh, took the rest of the mix, pushed, uh, put that into the bag, and then added a mixture of marshmallows and white chocolate chips. Then I just used one of the little silver ties that come with the bags and uh, secured the top of the bag with that and then um, gave it a little trim on the top as well. I didn't need all that excess. And then added two of the raspberry candy canes to the top there and then added a little pink bow to finish it off. Next is a Dollar Tree milk bottle with hazelnut cocoa. So for this one I'll be using the little milk bottle but for the lid I'm going to use one of these little cupcake liners that I got from Walmart in the Buffalo uh, or the uh, red and black check. And then I'm going to just uh, use a funnel to add some of the cocoa to the um, container. And then uh, for this one, since it's kind of a smaller container, I'm not gonna use the big marshmallows. I'm gonna use those little tiny marshmallows you get from, you can get those you know, any supermarket. They're very inexpensive. Maybe you think about $1.50 or so for the, for the container. And then I just put the little uh, cupcake liner on top and then wrapped it with this black velvet bow. Next, we have the mug with the peppermint cocoa. And now we get to use the stir sticks. So I'm gonna start off uh, again by just adding a little tissue paper to the bottom of the mug and then add a bag full of the cocoa, uh, one cup of cocoa and then one cup of the mini marshmallows and tie it off with a little red bow. But then I'm also going to just cut the top off a little bit and um, before adding the little red and white stir sticks. And then I just insert them into the hole there in the middle and there you have it. And now we're going to do the mug with the Moco Coco. And we're going to do the same exact thing as we did in the previous one, except now, of course, we'll use the coffee stir sticks. And here is the boot ornament paired with the cherry cordial cocoa. So one cup of mix and one cup of marshmallows fits nicely into the boot. And then we have the candy dish with the eggnog cocoa. And what I did for that was I just washed and dried the candy dish and then added uh, three cups, uh, three cups of cocoa for this container. And then I um, just went in with, again, the little mini marshmallows on top. Then I just added the lid to the top of the container and taped it down. Now to decorate it, I just took one of these garland ties from the Dollar Tree and added um, some pieces of a pick and the little red bow, again, from the Dollar Tree. Just wrapped the garland around and created a little decoration. Then I went back with uh, one of these little acorns that was also on the pick and just hot glued it um, into the arrangement. For the next combo, we have the check bucket with the kicking cocoa. Before adding the cocoa bag, I again added a piece of tissue paper to the bottom of the bucket. 
and then I just added the cocoa. Uh, but this time I wanted to try these little churro, uh, cinnamon churro marshmallows that they had at Walmart. Now, this is a more expensive option. I just happen to have them on hand, so I did use them. But if you are trying to keep costs down, um, you would probably just want to go with the regular white marshmallow. The next combo pairs this adorable Dollar Tree tin with cotton candy cocoa. This one's easy peasy. I just added two cups of the cocoa and one cup of the marshmallows to a little treat bag, uh, folded it over and taped it in place. Um, you could do three cups of cocoa if you choose instead, um, but anyway, three cups of product will fit nicely into this little tin. The next pairing is this gingerbread house box with gingerbread cocoa. Again, it's just easy peasy, two cups of cocoa to one cup of the marshmallows into a little treat bag and then fits perfectly into the little box. This more sophisticated box goes perfectly with the amaretta cocoa. And here we have the same combination, two cups of the cocoa mix with one cup of the marshmallows. Again, fits perfectly into the box. Now for our little snow globe jar paired with salted caramel cocoa. To attach the snow globe to the previously painted lid, I just uh, used some E6000 and just set it in place. Then I just took my washed jar and added three cups of the cocoa mix directly to the jar using a funnel. Next, I replaced the lid and then added some of this black ticking ribbon around the neck of the jar to add a little extra touch. Lastly, I paired the penguin jar with the hazelnut orange. I just used some E6000 glue to attach the penguin to the previously painted top. Then just added some cocoa and applied the lid. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this quick, inexpensive, and easy Christmas Gifts number no. 2 DIY featuring hot cocoa and the 15 gourmet flavor hacks plus all of the different packaging options. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give us a thumbs up and please share with any family and friends you think would also enjoy this video. Please let me know in the comments which one was your favorite and if you're not already subscribed and you like what you see, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you join the family. If you're looking for more Christmas gift DIYs, please check out Christmas gift number one, as well as be on the lookout for more Christmas gift DIY videos. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.